Hey there, so I have been gone a little while I feel and I've also vanished off Instagram for like a week which was a mistake. Um, I look ill like a mess as per usual, when do I not look like this? Um, I'm pressed for time, I'm off college today because I spent the day at the hospital yesterday getting various stuff sorted out. I'm exhausted, had a terrible night, sleep in a lot of pain. I'm feeling okay-ish now, but I've got work later, and that's why I look a mess. Got this weird face, this messy, wet hair. But anyway, I am bringing you today the Harry Potter tag. It was brought to my attention by quite a few people. That I've never done a Harry Potter tag, which seems unusual considering this this channel is a bit of a mess of everything. But um, it's you know has a theme of Harry Potter generally. So I'm gonna jump right in with a Harry Potter tag. Okay, question one. Um, what's your favourite Harry Potter book? My favourite book is probably Order of the Phoenix, just because of the amount it has in it. Um, it was one of the most disappointing films because it just had to miss out so much, but yeah. Least favourite book, interestingly, is probably Prisoner of Azkaban, even though Prisoner of Azkaban is probably my favourite film, so it works in the weird way in which my favourite book is my least favourite film, my favourite film is my least favourite book. Favourite movie? We've just answered this. The next question is a favourite movie and least favourite movie. Favourite movie would be Prisoner of Azkaban and least favourite movie is uh, Order of the Phoenix, probably. Favourite quote? I have so many favourite quotes from Harry Potter. It's like a really quotable series. Joe manages to write these really great lines. A very generic one that a lot of people like but is personally one of my favourites is it does not do well to dwell on dreams and forget to live just because um, it resonates with me because I'm a person that daydreams all the time. I spend an awful lot of time inside my head and it's got to the point where I often confuse um, whether stuff has happened in my head or whether it's actually happened in real life, which is very stressful and just generally frustrating and annoying because I really uh, get confused with reality sometimes. So that's an Im important quote for me. Favourite Weasley. Uh, that's really hard because I love all of the Weasleys. I love Ginny as a character because, book Ginny obviously, um, because she's just so badass. But I love the Weasley twins because I'm a twin and uh, when me and my twin brother are like getting up to our mischievous tricks it really just reminds me of Fred and George. Favourite female character? I think there's some really strong female characters in Harry Potter, um, which I love. Hermione has always been a favourite character of mine just because I feel like me and Hermione are practically the same person. Uh, <laughs> so I, because like just, I, with the same sort of, I mean, I would love to have her work ethic, especially right now when my A-levels start literally next week and I'm yet to do proper revision but I feel like we both have good goals and everything so I love her as a character she's just really strong shows that intelligence can be uh uh like cool and it's good for like helping you in situations uh Tonks is also a major female character that I love just because she has the power to change herself into literally anything she wants but she gives herself bright pink hair and just looks awesome and she just is just really really nice really clumsy and i just love that about her um and obviously i love Ginny and luna i'm basically naming all of the female characters but i just think it has a really strong female character um like every female character brings something really strong to the story and key which i love favorite villain this is a hard question um i don't think I have a favourite villain as such, um, unless you count Professor Quirrell as a villain because I just have a soft spot for him because he just, he's just so cute and innocent and like obviously he's not but when he's doing his little, like in the movie in the first one where he's like stammering and he doesn't, and he just looks so nervous and jumpy like he's just adorable um, but uh, I don't really know to be honest. Um, I don't really have a favourite villain. Favourite male character? Um, I love Ron as a character. I think he's completely underrated. People uh, don't give enough credit for like this. He's often often used, just used for like comic relief, which is just not like he's a lot deeper than that. Um, I also just love Harry. Harry is literally my favourite character in Harry Potter because of all of the stuff he goes through, he's still uh, a caring, loving person who wants to do good. He often makes the mistake of isolating himself to try and uh, save other people and I think like I know I just really connect with him 
and people are often like Harry's a terrible character he literally has no idea what's going on he can't do anything by himself and, and I just I, I it annoys me like I think Harry is like literally the most underrated character in his series arguably favorite professor obviously it's Scobby Professor McGonagall because she's just so awesome um I think all the like all of the, like loads so many good professors I love um Professor Grubbly Plank because although we don't see any really um at all like I just the fact that they leave to spend time with their remaining limbs is just uh, hilarious I think but um yeah no Professor McGonagall because she's just so so badass I just can't cope with her would you rather a wash Snape's hair or b spend a day listening to Lockhart rant about himself um that's a hard one because I wouldn't want to touch a Snape's hair, but then that would be over in like five, ten minutes. So, but I would have to like spend the whole day listening to it. I really love Professor Lockhart though, like he's just hilarious. Like I would just sit there and laugh the whole day. So I think maybe that would be quite a humorous thing. Like if I was really, really bored, I mean, I would just enjoy listening to him talk about himself and be like, you're hilarious, please go on. Would you rather duel A, an elated Bellatrix or B, an angry Molly? I would definitely rather duel an elated Bellatrix because did you see Molly in Deathly Hallows? She just completely destroyed Bellatrix when she was angry. I don't want to be on the on the fight the firing line of that one. Would you rather travel to Hogwarts via A the Hogwarts Express or B the flying car? Um, I'd love to ride them both at some point, but um, Hogwarts Express for sure. Um, I love 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 the Hogwarts Express. One of my favourite parts of the entire series when I saw the Hogwarts Express. Uh, um, the studio tour when it opens um i was like cried there's a vlog of me somewhere like from like a year ago now it's been like a year since i've been um i literally just like collapsed and cried because i just love the whole course express so much like, i've got tears in my eyes thinking about it um and yes, uh, Hogwarts Express because they've got like the, the trolley with the food. I want to diet right now so the idea of having like chocolate frogs and stuff excites me greatly. Would you rather A. Kiss Voldemort or B. Give Umbridge a bubble bath? What the hell? I would obviously rather kiss Voldemort. I mean, neither of them are going to be enjoyable but I'm... Oh, I've got this horrific image of Umbridge's bubble bath I just oh. would you rather a ride a hippogriff or b ride a firebolt I want to ride them both I think I'm like I'm not I'd like to say I'm quite a sporty person but like mostly just dance and running and stuff but like when it, I think I would be a quidditch player like if I was in Harry Potter I'd like to think I'd be like a chaser um um just because I just think something that I would be fairly good at I don't know um but so I'd love to ride a firebolt because obviously that'd be awesome but then um, I mean, I'm, I'm not scared of horses. I've ridden horses before, but I imagine, I don't know why I'm comparing a hippogriff to a horse. Uh, I don't really know where that came into it, but I'd love to ride a hippogriff too, so that's a difficult one for me. Is there a character you felt differently about in the movies? Yes, Ginny. Like, she was just an absolute wet lettuce in the, the films. She just... Like, when they're sat on the sofa and she feeds him a mince pie, Book Ginny would have slammed it in his face and been like, Ha! Fooled you! Shouldn't have trusted me! And then she would have legged it. There wouldn't have been this awkward little, like, feeding and then Ron comes and sits in the middle with his pies. Like, it just wouldn't have happened that way. And the awkward, like, shoe-tying situation on the stairs and, um, that their first kiss should have been the way Lavender and Ron kissed after the the big uh, Quidditch match, but instead it was some weird little, oh, let's hide in the room of crime and it's gonna be really pathetic and then I'm gonna hide. Is there a movie you preferred to the book? And no, I preferred all of the books. I mean, the movies are great, but the books just can't compare. Richard Harris or Michael Gambon as Dumbledore, they were both perfect for the films that they did. I can't imagine Richard Harris bringing the same sort of thing as Michael Gambon did for the later films, but likewise, I can't imagine Michael Gambon bringing the same, uh, tone to the first two films which was needed to introduce it and to really show the progression i do think there's a bit too big of a gap between uh chamber of secrets and prisoner of azkaban i feel like the jump should have been a little bit more subtle because i often separate the, those two films from the others in my mind but i do think the jump was needed because it did need to be a progression and the dumbledores portray that perfectly which house was your first gut feeling you'd be a part of um well, when I watched the first Tilt film, I was literally two and a half years old. I watched it downstairs in this very house in my tweenies pyjamas. And I'd already read the first two or three books from my mum. Because the fourth one I read by myself when I was four. Um, but my gut instinct was Gryffindor. 
um, and a lot of people were like, oh, you only want to be Gryffindor because Harry, Ron, and Hermione are Gryffindor. But I think who I was as a child, I was very um, forward, very sort of daring, just sort of like, I was just kind of crazy and I still sort of am like that now. I uh, I went through a phase a little while back where I was more, definitely more Ravenclaw for a little while. Um, but I think in my heart, I'm a Gryffindor and that's where I sway to naturally. Which class would be your favourite? Um, I think Charms or Transfiguration would be uh probably my my favorite classes or perhaps potions because i've never really had a chance to do science in my life because my secondary school was specialist for musical theater and so we didn't have um labs or anything so i've never done practical science um and so i feel like that's sort of the equivalent and i think it's something that i'd really enjoy because i was always interested in that but never had the opportunity to do it which character do you think you'd be instantly become friends with definitely hermione because i've never been i always picture it sort of you know like lavender and Parvati and like all of the girls um they seem to have like their sort of like click type thing and they seem like kind of like the cool girls and I was never ever part of that sort of group even in in college now um I have just like two or three close friends that like we all are classics geeks or whatever and so I feel like that's who I would naturally go to because that's my natural sort of social group orientation that I just sort of go towards that type of thing. <laughs> Own one of the three hallows which would it be? Um, the invisibility cloak hands down. I don't need a powerful wand it'd be cool and I don't need the resurrection stone because um, at uh, this moment in time there's no one I would bring back from the dead, um, but, uh, the invisibility cloak definitely because there are times where I need, want to leave the house but my anxiety means that I'm like, you can't, you look too bad, um, people are going to stare at you so I would use it to live my life without the anxiety, um, and also it would just be handy for, you know, messing with people and <laughs> having a good time generally. If you could bring one character back to life, which would it be? Um, I would bring back Fred purely because, um, I don't know what I would do without my twin, um, like if something happened to James I would just, I don't know how I would function or carry on in life, um, I think with a twin if, if you lose half your twin you literally lose half of yourself um, and so I can't imagine how George was able to carry on afterwards so I would just bring him back because I know that they need each other in a way that, um, obviously I'd love to bring back um, Tonks and Remus for for Teddy because it living obviously he's an orphan, um but he has um he has Harry he has um Andromeda and all of the the family that can look after him but George uh, needs Fred and finally Hallows or Horcruxes Hallows obviously because I'd never want to kill a person um and why would I become immortal when I could become the master of death so anyway I hope you enjoyed this Harry Potter tag um. I don't know if I've rambled a bit, probably, because that's what I do. Um, but anyway, keep leaving video suggestions, and I'll try and film as much as I can. Um, I am generally exhausted all of the time now, um, but I'm working on trying to get uh, more healthy so I can fight off all of this shit that's happening inside my body, and um, also do good in my A-levels, which is not happening right now. I actually should be revising classics right this second, but instead I was like, I'm going to film a video because I haven't done one in a while. So anyway, good luck if you've all got exams coming up soon, you will all be fine and we'll all have, gonna have an awesome summer. Oh, also, um, there's a Harry Potter um, Cursed Child release party at Waterstones Piccadilly on the midnight release party, like the old fashioned Harry Potter ones when Harry Potter used to come out. Tickets are on sale on the Waterstones website for like £15 and you get the book with that and everything else. It looks amazing. I'm currently going um, by myself, I don't have anyone to go with, um, actually, I do I knew, know a few people that are going um but if you are going to be going um message me or whatever we can meet up we can make it a little thing um and it's going to be an awesome night everyone's going to dress up and it's just going to be really really cool so if you can get yourself to Waterstones Piccadilly in London do it um go on the Waterstones website for more information but it, I think it's just going to be crazy crazy fun um really exciting so that's the 30th of July so hopefully I'll see some of you guys there